Hey coders and welcome to season 12 of our Google Apps Script course. In this brand new playlist we're going to be investigating the property service starting out with this introductory episode of the same name. So the property service is actually somewhat of a peripheral service provided by Google Apps Script. It's not one of their main core services, however it does have some critical functionalities that could be essential for your use cases, so it is still important to know. So this service is used to store simple key value data. You can think of it as your own personal internal NoSQL database built right into Apps Script. And so this way, if you do have any simple key value data, you won't have to go and configure some external database, which will take a lot of time and resources. You can just store that simple key value data within the property service, which is already built out by Google. So what is key value data? Well, this is just a way of storing your data so that there is easy retrieval. So let's say that you as a user have a favorite color and your favorite color is say blue. Well, that is the data, right? That is the user data, it's blue. But how would you actually access this data? Well, you could say, you could say assign a key to that, uh, to that data. So you could say favorite color is the key and then at the value of that is going to be blue. So it would be favorite color as the key and then blue as the value. And that is an example of key value data. And you can have lots of these separate key values uh, as, as large as you want, as long as the database can support it. So this would be very helpful, say if you had uh, developer configurations or user preferences, that's when you would want to utilize the property service as a use case. So we're going to see a lot of examples of this in the upcoming videos, but for now, let's keep on moving. So some of the direct use cases of the property service, if you were to access this as the parent class property service, would be if you needed to set the scope for your key value pairs on a script, user, or document level. And again, we're going to see an example of this actually in the very next episode. But before we do that, let's jump on into the code and make sure that we're all starting from the same starting block. For this new playlist, I've gone out and created a new project and entitled it Season 12. And as you can see, it is currently very blank, but we are about to put an end to its blankness and provide it with some amazing code. But before we do that, let's just make sure that we are starting all on the same page and using the same service by typing out properties service. And if we hit the period button, if we get this pop up with these three methods, then we are doing it all correctly. If you do not get this pop up, then make sure everything is again spelled correctly. And likewise, this is case sensitive. So make sure the P is capitalized and the S is capitalized and every other letter is lowercase. So the nice thing about the property service is that it does not require authentication. So if we just pick any old method and we hit the save button and the run button, it's going to run perfectly fine. As you can see, there, there was no prompt for any authentication. So that is just another helpful aspect of the property service. All right, guys, I am very excited to create this playlist and present it. And if you are just as excited, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you in the very next upcoming episodes.